Got a can DP. I guess this is like the old proverbial ostrich with his head in the sand, you know. Wanna come out. I don't know if you see the back end of that trap, but it's a coon dagger. Oh, he didn't like me walking around him. Big old coon though. That'd be a double triple X. We'll get him taken care of and try to show the remake. Alright, got him out. Uh, just set the trap there, haven't baited it yet. Try to do this one-handed. Put in a little bit of the malicious DP coon bait. Don't need to fill the traps up. All you need to do is about up to the trigger. I'm gonna fill it from the other side and not a sloppy. Then I put a little fish oil around it when it's gonna get cold like tonight. And, uh, here we go. It's just that simple. Now here checking some of the last rat traps. I'll be pulling these probably tomorrow or next day, but anyway. Nice little rat right there. We'll get him taken care of. You know, I've had something prove me a liar today. This is a place where we caught the three otters. I showed you the trail that went over to the river. And showing you that, I said uh, no beaver using it this year, mainly because of the drought. The river has been down to nothing. And uh, even the duck lake was down to nothing. An inch and a half of rain must have got it moving a little bit because if you follow through right here, boom. Nice size beaver. Same set that I've caught the three otters in. Go up to the backup set, still nothing. It's starting to freeze here. There's a little skim of ice on. I'm gonna go ahead and reset it and hope something gets to it early. All right. Waiting out here, pulling traps, everything is froze over. And I don't know if you make that out or not, but uh, well, I caught a mink. Oh yeah, nice old buck, man. We'll definitely take him. Over right here, we put in a couple dirt holes the other day. Uh, this being one of them right here. And I put another one in over here. This is a real rod punch hole. Actually, I caught a possum a couple days ago. But today, it has a very nice looking coyote. A little rubbed on the back I guess so maybe not so nice looking but we'll take him anyway be a good wall hanger number two Bridger fully modified uh, in this one but there's a rod punch set I would have put uh, coyote urine on the back and uh, hall breakers gland in the hole ground frozen Again, I use a piece of insulation under my pan. Night latched. That's the mixture of 50-50 peat moss and that dry dirt that I got up this summer. Make sure it didn't wobble anywhere. A little bit there. Pack it under. Deep pan. 
can be in the low spot. Yeah, we'll I'll take some of this stuff just to blend it in. Don't want these clods on there. That is about it. back in the hole. Other than that, there's plenty of coyote smell. Don't bring any other coyotes in. And that's it. Now, one thing. It's a good bloodless kill. I shot him right there. Long shot him with a CCI, CB shorts. Mad Trapper here. A quick segment on uh, how I pull the DPs. I don't cut the cable. I do pull every one of them. Throws in. Put that up. Pop it up. Gonna take the pick part just to break the crust. Now these are pogos. Caught a couple canes and paws from here. They got grass right around it. These are the inch and a half fender washers for pogos. Uh, I do them a little shorter, of course, than I do my predators. These are about 15 inches, so they pop out pretty good, uh, even on the frozen ground. Uh, down to 14 last night, only 19 now. Canes are going to quit running, and I'm pulling out of here, so. Get them before they get too frozen. Anyway, a little Maddox axe with the pick on it. Break the crust, hook it into the swivel, pops them right out. Plop another one of these out of the frozen ground. This is the uh, set that caught the coon that was sleeping in the rain. So again, use the pick part break up the frozen ground a little bit, put the uh, swivel in there, pull it, pops them right up out of there. They use the same anchors over and over and over again. Clean the mud off of it a little bit. Inch and a half fender washer, 15 inches cable. Old cocoon's good. As they say, what a difference a day makes. Two days ago, actually, this was open water. Today, it's a ice I can stand on. Uh, pulling just the last few of the traps today and tomorrow, and then uh, moving to a muskrat marsh. But I want to put on here these conibear sets that I use on these layouts, how I use them through the ice. This is a pretty good example. Uh, one bad thing about it is uh, this time of the year, they I like to get froze into the ice, like this one here. I don't know if that comes through real good. I'll try to use my boot to shadow it, but right there is a muskrat. Froze to the ice. And the way I chop these out, I chop them out so I can uh, set the trap right back without having to get down in the hole. So I come out to the stake not past it. Another hole. Sometimes I do a V notch. And then I do right in front of the stake. I don't know why I threw that over there because he froze in. I wanted to get him out with it. Now what that does, you see it'll leave a notch right there. So when I'm getting him out and I'm resetting, normally I'm at to chop it out, but normally if they're not froze in, I'll like set that trap right back there, pretty much until where the water level is, and it's set right back exactly where it needs to be for next time. The wires are good to get them out of the way. These didn't hinder the rats from going in and out after he was caught, but this little wire I might wrap it up once so he can't float up to the ice. But we'll get him out of there and get this reset. Got the trap set back up on the lab and the block. Got him out of here. Right back down in the hole. 
right pretty much right back in the same notch right there you're good to go for another one tonight you follow the bubble trail out you can actually see where the end of the hole is plain as day um, that was just a place i actually kicked in a couple days ago let them run through it then i set the trap yesterday this is quite interesting to me Max out of the way. I don't know how well this is going to come through. If you can see, when I set this set yesterday, apparently it was open enough an otter to come out. Walked around right here, did a little swirly tail, and then he went out that way. The uh, only thing I could see with the mud and everything that he had to come up through that hole right there. There's no tracks going to the bank, nor anywhere else. So let's see if I set this on an otter hole, or if I set this on a muskrat hole. Wouldn't surprise me this trap just set off. Him squeeze out of it. Oh no, we got a nice little muskrat, nothing huge, but we'll take him. Get this set up. Now again, I got my notch right here. I know exactly where my trap needs to go. Debris down in there. Got that ice chunk on there. Put it right back. Just the way it come out. Now we caught one there. We should catch some more. <laughs> 